As a suspended BSO deputy prepares to stand trial for manslaughter, we're getting a hold of evidence in the investigation. Interviews with witnesses the day a man carrying a pellet gun was shot to death in his own apartment complex show his demeanor moments before the deadly shooting. CBS 4's Terry Cobbs got the story. He's live at the Broward County Courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with details. Kerry. Elliot, we're getting a possible look at a early defense strategy here, attacking the mental health of Jermaine McBean, who was shot by a Broward Sheriff's deputy. The attorney for that deputy, Peter Peraza, filed this motion in court yesterday. It requests McBean's medical records. Now, the attorney for the McBean family considers much of what's in this motion, he told me, misrepresentations and half-truths. Two days after suspended Broward Sheriff's Deputy Peter Peraza was formally charged with manslaughter for shooting and killing computer engineer Jermaine McBean, we're learning what several witnesses told investigators happened that day in 2013 in Oakland Park. A manager at a pawn shop where McBean bought an air rifle said he originally wanted to buy a shotgun, but the pawn shop doesn't sell them. The manager says he put the air rifle in a plastic bag. As McBean walked home, a nearby hospital employee saw him walking with the air rifle in his hand. She thought the gun was real and called 911. I watched him until I saw the police arrive, she said, but he did look irate. He looked like he was angry. He was stomping his feet. He was yelling something, and he was moving very quickly northbound on Dixie Highway. Once McBean got home to the Green Tree Apartments, a woman with her kids in the complex pool said she saw him and that he looked to me to be either a crazy person or he was high. That's what I took from the way he was walking, the way he was carrying himself. He just looked zombified, she told deputies. This was someone that was unhinged. Eric Schwartzreich is Peraza's attorney. What was going on in McBean's life that caused him to want to purchase a shotgun, walk down our streets, point it, and yes, point it at a deputy? David Schoen, the attorney for the family of Jermaine McBean, argues an eyewitness says McBean never pointed the gun at deputies and kept the air rifle on his shoulder and didn't hear deputies because he had earbuds in. Schoen also says McBean was bipolar, but not a threat. No issue of his uh, being uh, unable to function or, as this lawyer has said, unhinged. Peraza's attorney says McBean had a mental breakdown at work in the days prior to the shooting and had to be hospitalized. But Schoen says McBean got help. He went to the hospital, and at the hospital, they regulated his medication, gave him a clean bill of health. Now, the issue of returning over McBean's medical records will come to a head in a Broward County courtroom at a hearing later this month. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Kerry, thank you.